What's up guys, I'm Ari Rochelle and this is Nuggets of Truth. From childhood, we were taught the story of Zacchaeus, but I can't really remember ever being taught why this story was so important. So let's read that story real quick and see if we can understand the purpose of Zacchaeus. So Luke chapter 19 verse 1 through 10 says, He entered Jericho and was passing through. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich, and he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Luke starts off with Jesus entering Jericho and passing through. If we just read this on the surface, this really doesn't sound like a big deal. Like, who cares? But if we search through the entire New Testament, this is the only time the scriptures mentions that Jesus goes through Jericho. So this is a big deal. This means that this story of Zacchaeus is a very important story. In fact, there isn't any other story that blatantly says that they were in Jericho. The only ones that come close are two stories of blind men being healed on the way to Jericho and on the way leaving Jericho. They weren't even in Jericho. In fact, only one of the blind men were even named. Yet Zacchaeus was named, his occupation was given, and even his description was given to us. Therefore, I think it's safe to say that Zacchaeus is a very important story in the Bible. This now begs the question, what was so important about the story of Zacchaeus? Well, as a kid, it was implied to me that Zacchaeus was important because he was a tax collector. This just doesn't sit well with me now that I'm older. Jesus already ate with tax collectors many times. In fact, one of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, was a tax collector according to Matthew chapter 10 verse 3. Matthew wrote a book! So it had to be much more than just Zacchaeus being a tax collector. I believe we'll find the answer in the description of Zacchaeus. Luke 19 verse 3 through 4. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. According to Luke's account, Zacchaeus was so small that he had to climb a tree to see Jesus passing by. Now to me this is very odd. Now men are generally taller than women, right? No woman had to do this. So how small was Zacchaeus? There's no account of any other man having to do this. So how small was Zacchaeus that he couldn't even see over the crowd at all that he had to go to such drastic lengths? Could it be that Zacchaeus was a dwarf? Now, this is the significance of the story of Zacchaeus. See, Zacchaeus was a dwarf. And the reason that that makes this story so significant is because the last sentence we have recorded from this encounter with Zacchaeus is Jesus saying in verse 10, For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. Jesus' entire purpose for coming to earth was to redeem the lost. So Jesus went to Jericho to redeem Zacchaeus, not because he was a tax collector, but because he was a dwarf. Now this may sound quite insensitive and offensive, but it's actually kind of beautiful when we put it into perspective. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 16 through 23 says, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, None of your offspring throughout their generations who has a blemish may approach to offer the bread of his God. For no one who has a blemish shall draw near, a man blind or lame, or one who has a mutilated face or a limb too long or man who has an injured foot or an injured hand, or hunchback, or dwarf, or man with a defect in his sight, or an itching disease or scabs or crushed testicles. No man of the offspring of Aaron the priest who has a blemish shall come near to offer the Lord's food offerings. Since he has a blemish, he shall not come near to 
offered the bread of his God. He may eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy things, but he shall not go through the veil or approach the altar because he has a blemish, that he may not profane my sanctuaries, for I am the Lord who sanctifies them. Before Christ, we had the law of Moses. This law of Moses demanded absolute perfection, and if perfection wasn't met, the penalty was death. There wasn't room for grace or mercy, so all who had a disability of some kind were blemished and therefore unable to enter the presence of the Lord. But when Jesus came, when Christ came, he didn't just redeem the blemished. He said in Luke chapter 19 verse 5 that he had to stay at Zacchaeus' house. A man that was once unable to enter behind the veil into the presence of God in the Holy of Holies was now not only allowed into the presence of God, but God himself was staying at his house. God himself came to his house to eat. This is the importance of Zacchaeus. Those of us who were once unfit to enter into the presence of God because we were blemished, God himself has come down and has brought us into his presence. So while you all think about that, let's quickly sum everything up for you guys. Zacchaeus' story is the only story we have from Jesus' time in Jericho. It would then stand to reason that Zacchaeus was the reason Jesus went to Jericho. In fact, Jesus tells Zacchaeus that he had to stay with him. Why? Because Zacchaeus was a dwarf. Before Jesus, dwarfs and any other person with a blemish were not able to enter into the presence of God. This is why Jesus had to go to Zacchaeus' house because Jesus came to redeem all people, including those with disabilities and blemishes. Why? Because all people are important to Jesus, not just those who seem perfect on the outside. Jesus came to redeem all who were willing to be redeemed. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.